What's up guys, Beam Pro from Gimton Studios here and we have all this info coming in from the reveal that they did today and this is just a trailer that they showed, the world premiere of the multiplayer and I went through it frame by frame to try to find out any little specific details that probably would have missed in regular time. So went through it and first thing I noticed was this screen right here. So top left is now the mini map. Normally it's on the top right, I believe. And it looks cool, I guess, but I personally like it on the top right and I think it would have been better if they just kept it there. But anyways, uh, the HUD looks nice. I personally like it. Bottom left, we have the score and it looks like uh, pretty much the same, maybe a little bit smaller. And you also have the game mode there, which I don't think that's usually there, but uh, it's pretty cool. Bottom right, normal, you got your equipment, ammo, it looks like it's changed a little bit instead of like bullets, it more looks like a bar. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work out too well, I think it kind of looks a little bit stupid, but you know, that's my own opinion, so. Uh, now, if you guys didn't notice, pretty much only kill streaks now. They got rid of the score streak thing from uh, uh, Black Ops 2, so now that's not going to be in there. Uh, kind of sucks, I did enjoy it, but oh well. So, of the HUD, pretty much the right, top right is your kill like KD ratio assist, I guess. Uh, I can't see it too clearly, but you have that in your kill feed, so moved from uh, the left. And I think it's a little bit better place there, um, except the uh, scoreboard there, because I just think that you would be looking at it and be consciously, it's like, oh shit, I'm 30 and 0, oh, clutch, clutch, oh no, I died, because you're like thinking about it. And that's usually bad. But anyways, let's get on to the next one. Alright guys, next we have this dog, which is basically a guard dog, and what he does is he growls when em enemies are nearby, so it's pretty cool in that, kind of a UAV, I guess, and also he will pretty much be a dog, kind of like any other score streak that you would usually have in uh, previous Call of Duties, he's a dog, he will attack random people that are near you, just kind of like an escort drone, but on the ground, and, well, a dog. <laughs> Here's another little cool feature that they're actually including in this. So now, instead of customizing your loadout, choosing a few things that may not impact what your appearance is, or just having a generic model that pretty much everyone has, makes this makes sure that your individuality is shown a lot into this game by allowing you to customize just about everything on the character itself. Uh, also being able to unlock things that you can only get, say, in Clan Wars that show off your skill and show that you truly do know how to play the game by having a limited edition piece in that sense. So also there's going to be a pre-order bonus. It's going to allow you to be basically have that like a uh, ghost mask and stuff like that. And it's going to be really cool. So your customization, instead of basically making your loadout, the phrase they use is you make your soldier. Wasn't ready to be no so I'm pretty sure a lot of you have been hearing about the whole leaning thing. Here's a prime example of how it's being used, and it looks like it's going to be really cool. Now, it they did inform us that it is an entirely different button, so it's not going to be a button combination per se, but a certain button itself. Here's an example of the thing that is now going to replace dolphin diving. So the basic concept is while you're sprinting, you can slide on your knees and slide into prone or into crouch position. So it's going to be a little bit better flow. I don't have too much info on it, but it seems really, really fucking cool. So here is one of the new attachments that are coming out with, which is called the Dual Render. And it's basically a scope, similar to the sniper scope, pretty much, I believe, only on snipers. I am not 100% sure on that. But it allows you to also keep your peripheral vision while still staying on target. Here's one of the new features that is actually really hard to explain, so I do recommend you look at the stream itself and watch all of it, because it's a lot of different info. Anyways, what this is, is basically kind of replacing the prestige system. So each one of them are a prestige, and then you prestige them, and I believe there's up to 10, 
and you have 10 prestiges, basically. And each of them are an individual soldier. I don't know how the custom classes work on them, but I'm assuming it's pretty much just a normal custom class thing. But, as I said, check the stream. It's a playlist that you can use these squad members, and there's a lot of details into it. So, again, check it, please. Because it's hard for me to explain it in a few minutes. Yes, of course, shotguns are still there. Unfortunately, Call of Duty has yet to listen to all the fans demanding the bloodshed of the shotgun users. So apparently they haven't played their own game enough to realize they're fucking annoying. If you guys haven't noticed yet, now all the Call of Duty ghost maps are going to be dynamic, which means you can get Seaford in the face through the wall by breaking them apart like that. So less camping because you can basically destroy their cover. So it's kind of like Battlefield. And I think that's really good for Call of Duty now because it's making it a little bit of a better flow game. So I'm happy about that. And a lot of the new dynamic maps themselves are going to be really cool. Like Freefall, the map that changes as the game progresses and it starts to fall down and things shit. So I think it's going to be a really cool part of this game. C4 sucks. So yes, yeah, some good news for all those people that are loving just all the normal game types. They are still there. Free for all, team deathmatch, search and destroy, domination, and kill confirmed. As far as I know, that is what is 100% confirmed. Any other playlist, you're going to have to check. Here's a quick look at some of the new playlists that will be there. Search and rescue, grind, blitz, cranked. Infected is back, hunted, and safeguard. As far as I know, we have only been informed of search and rescue and cranked. Here's a description of search and rescue, the new game type. You recover dog tags to keep your teammates in the action or to send enemies to the bench. So it's kind of a cross between search and destroy and kill confirmed. And I think it's actually going to be a very good game type. Here's one of the new improvements that is being made to Call of Duty Ghost. Now, you know whenever you're running towards something and you're trying to mantle over it, you have to actually stop and then you go over it, jump off, and then start running. Well, this allows you to keep that momentum while still moving forward. Now, it's not anytime you go to it, it's when you're sprinting to mount over something. Here's an example for one of the tags for the search and rescue game type. When you collect your own teammates, you revive them. When you collect an enemy, you prevent them from responding the entire round. By the look of things, it looks like the gunship from Black Ops 1 seems to be making a return in an Infinity Wars game. So it looks really cool and I can't wait to actually try it out. And I believe it is a 13 score streak. I am not 100% sure. I know, it is the one, the only, the Honey Badger. Fully automatic, integrated silencer allows for higher overall versatility, but lower range. I am hyped about this gun, I cannot wait to try it. Integrated silencer, I think that's beast, it is amazing. So, I'm going to go through some of the attachments that are here. The top right is FMJ, the two in the middle I don't know. The top left is definitely extra mags. One right below the extra mags is obviously grip, and the one next to that, to the right, is noob tube. <laughs> the one next to that is probably stock. I cannot see it 100%, but I'm pretty sure that is stock. The one under stock is probably holographic sight. The one next to it, to the left, is red dot sight, and the one next to it, I'm ref I'm thinking that is ACOG, I'm pretty sure, but there are some new scopes on. I'm not 100% sure. Some of them are probably missing, but that's an assumption of what attachments you can see coming. Here's another little thing that I took out of all the little rotations and stuff like that. It's the MTS-255 shotgun. I don't fucking care about shotguns too much, but this kind of looks cool. Double action, five round revolving cylinder shotgun that lets you run and gun in style. I don't know what the grenade is, but it looks like a regular fag frag grenade. My bad. And I can't really read the first thing, but I'm thinking that's like a type of grenade or something like that. Yeah. 
Okay, I managed to pull up a list of a lot of the assault rifles in the game. I don't know if it's all of them, but it looks a pretty good number of them. The SA-805, fully automatic, versatile, and strong overall. The CZ-805 Brennan, B-R-E-N, I don't know if that's pronounced right. The Honey Badger, the AK-12, the SC, I believe, 2010. I believe this is the M589. I'm not sure. I can't read it too good. This one got blocked off, but so far it's the A5A something something. I don't know what it is. The ARX160 and the FAD, which is returning. Here's a few more guns that I picked out. The Maul, which is blacked out unfortunately, so we're not going to be able to look at it. It definitely looks like a shotgun. The MK32, which is a grenade launcher. Grenade launcher with revolving six round cylinder. I can't read the rest of it. It's a little blurry, but it looks like an over-exaggerated war machine. All right, I have no fucking idea what this is. So if any of you guys know, please comment down below because this thing looks really weird. I have no idea what it is. Okay, I have no idea what he's using, but if you do notice, bottom left, middle right there, um, there's a Moab symbol. I have no idea if Moab is returning, but I'm pretty sure that is a Moab. Um, it may be something else, like name different. I doubt it's a nuke, because if you look in the next frame, you'll see it actually looks like stuff got blown up and it looks like a missile. As I said, it pretty much looked like a missile hitting it. I'm pretty sure that's what a Moab is, uh, at least from past experience of the games. And if you notice all the destruction, it pretty much looks like a Moab hit because it's like red-like. So there are two things you should notice in this picture. One being, it looks like an over amp version of the Dragonfly with launchers. So yeah. And then two is a kill streak, which is a 12 point kill streak. It's a Hilo pilot. So I guess it's going to be a chopper gunner and they're going to be 12 points. So here's a description of the new game mode crank. Get a kill. Get cranked and get faster movement, reload, and aimed on sight. Rack up your next kill within 30 seconds or you will explode. Tick, 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 boom. I'm really excited about this new game mode. I think it's going to be amazing and I hope I'm not disappointed by that. Here's an example of what the countdown will look like when you're playing Cranked, and also, here's a new launcher. Now, I'm not 100% sure on what launcher this is, but it looks sort of javelin-like, and it splits into two, obviously, by on the screen. So, it looks like it's gonna be OP. This one kind of intrigues me. I don't understand what this one is. It may be a new type of grenade. It kind of looks like a flashbang or something of that sort, kind of that structure. And it's definitely not a grenade, but it explodes like a grenade. It may be, but I think it's a different type of one. See, it's an actual explosion and it's not like a flashbang flash or concussion or something like that. Leave a comment down below and tell me, what do you guys think this is? You guys see that? Th this guy's invisible right now. This is awesome. A lot of people have been uh, posting videos about this. This is fucking amazing. Oh, I, I, I can't wait to actually try this out. What the hell is this? Looks like they're amping up Jug to become, well, more OP. So it looks like he has sort of a minigun death machine sort of thing. And obviously he has a Juggernaut suit. And it actually looks a lot better than previous Juggernaut suits. And I'm wondering how many kills this takes to get. Yes, that's right, Infinity Ward has officially announced their new class of guns, the Marksman Rifles. Best at mid to long range, DMRs bridge the gap between assault rifles and sniper rifles. Are you serious, Infinity Ward? That means I get more FAL and SVU people running around with mod and spraying me? Oh, I am so fucking hyped. Thank you, Infinity Ward. No, seriously though, they do not think when they do stuff like this. That is a major problem. 
However, it is kind of cool that you can go between sniper rifle to assault rifle. It really depends on your playstyle, and all it takes is just putting a scope on. <laughs> Using that list that I found a little while ago, I actually managed to match which gun is which on these, and I'm able to give you a description of them now. So the bottom two are the M589. It's three round burst, high damage output for each burst, fast rate of fire, and full auto with reduced damage. So that's kind of a hint that either you're going to have the option to switch between them as an attachment for this gun specifically, or there is still an attachment for changing the rate of fire or the uh, fire rate, kind of like select fire now. The top one on the top right is the AK-12. Fully automatic, reduced recoil, provides higher accuracy. The top left one is the FAD. Fully automatic, high rate of fire with moderate recoil. So the only two that transition in this one were one, the top left, which is the A5A, which I can't get the rest of it. Fully automatic, increased damage and range. The bottom right is the equivalent of the AN-94. It is the ARK-160. Fully automatic, highest rate of fire and class with reduced recoil for the first three rounds of each burst. So as for the sniper rifles, we have gotten no names as far as I know from any of them, but it looks like right now they're showing off the single shot guns, and I hope to god that there are bolt action because I'll be fucking pissed if not. Single shot, strong and versatile overall is the left one. On the right, single shot, effective at long range with moderate recoil. The other two snipers shown in this is the one on the left, single shot, lowest recoil and range, highest rate of fire in its class. Second one on the right is single shot, moderate recoil, highest damage per round in class. If you guys didn't notice, the combat knife is now officially back, similar to that of Black Ops 2, and I'll tell you one thing, the knifing in this game looks fucking amazing, and I hope they fix the problems that were in Black Ops 2. Yes, that's right, Infinity Ward has finally given people the female character model. Thank God, now people that troll, like me, girl troll, I can now put that on, and it'll put more of an image of me being a girl on Xbox Live. And also, it does appease to a lot of the girl gamers out there that actually wanted it, and I think it's cool.